King Charles's latest appointment is likely to upset Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, as he has made one of their biggest hate figures, permanent lord-in-waiting. Sir Edward Young, who is believed to be the man known as the Bee in Harry's autobiography spare, has been bestowed with the honor of representing the king at royal events when he is unable to attend in person. A source told Richard Eden from the Daily Mail, His Majesty has great respect for Lord Young and is grateful for all the work he did for his mother, often under great pressure. This new honor is a reflection of that. Sir Edward was one of the late Queen's most trusted aides and was made a lord after he retired from royal service following a 19-year career. Many have speculated that Harry and Meghan blamed him for failing to accommodate them appropriately when they were still working members of the royal family. In spare, the Duke of Sussex accused Sir Edward of trying to stop him meeting with the Queen as he and Meghan tried to negotiate the terms of them quitting royal duties. He then blamed him for working to ensure Harry and his family lost their security deal with Scotland Yard following their move across the pond. Sir Edward was nicknamed the Bee due to his oval-faced and fuzzy appearance and tendency to glide around with great equanimity and poise. Harry wrote, I'd spent my life dealing with courtiers, scores of them, but now I dealt mostly with just three, all middle-aged white men who'd managed to consolidate power through a series of bold Machiavellian maneuvers. They had normal names, but they sort more easily into zoological categories. The Bee, the Fly, and the Wasp. The Bee was oval-faced and fuzzy and tended to glide around with great equanimity and poise, as if he was a boon to all living things. The Fly had spent much of his career adjacent to, and, indeed drawn to, asterisk, asterisk, asterisk. The awful of government and media and wormy entrails, he loved it, grew fat on it, rubbed his hands in glee over it. After the fallout from Spare the Firm are now said to be growing increasingly concerned about the prospect of Meghan writing her own autobiography. A palace insider reportedly told the Telegraph's Camilla Tomini that the family fears that without a project to distract them, the couple could once again turn their attention to the royals. The Sussexes' next project seems to be producing a film of the Carly Fortune novel Meet Me by the Lake for Netflix, as they have apparently bought the rights to it. However, there are worries that if the film flops, Harry and Meghan may revert to, to mudslinging. With fears the Duchess may name the person accused of making racially charged comments during Meghan's first pregnancy.